Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today's video is a Medibang one, and I'm going to be showing you how to use the three shape tools in Medibang Paint. There are three kinds, and we'll be getting into them soon. So firstly, to get to them, you're going to want to go on the menu at the top here, which you can see has a bunch of icons going across it. You're going to want to click on this here square. It then brings you into this menu, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll guide you through it anyway. We have a square, a circle, and a pentagon right here. Firstly, if you click on the square, it will then bring you into that tool. There is no set menu for this tool, but you can change the color by just changing your normal brush color and the opacity and the width as well. Then you pick a spot from which you'd like a corner to be, and just drag out in any direction. You can make it as big or as small as you want and you can change the length of the sides too, it's just very versatile. You can even take it out of the canvas. Then just let go when you're ready. You can make as many of these as you want and I think it could make for some pretty interesting abstract art pieces honestly. Again you can change the colour by just changing your normal brush colour, for example here I changed it to dark green and it'll be dark green. I'm pretty sure changing brushes can also affect what it is. Again, same with the width and opacity, like if I turn the opacity down and make it much wider, you will see that it has an effect there too. Now for the circle tool, which is one that will be used a lot more often. It's the same thing, you just go from a corner and it'll just pretty much roughly do the same thing as the square tool. Again, you can change it to be more ovalish or just pure circle, whatever you want really. It works in the exact same way as the square tool, where if you change the colour of your brush, the colour of the shape will change. If you change the width, that will change too. I think as far as circle tools go, it's a pretty good one. It'll be really straightforward, uh, unless you decide to start bending it and stuff, but even then it can be pretty neat. I honestly think it's just fun to look at. I don't know, it's kind of funky. Then we have the pentagon one. This one has a much different system compared to the other two. With this one you get to choose how many sides you want your shape to have. So you start somewhere and then you can drag it out to make a side. And you go from there and just sort of keep doing sides. If you click on the square it will generate a new side from the last line that you did. And then if you let go it turns into its own little shape. This one is a little bit more confusing to use but I think it's pretty neat. You have to drag on the square to get the new line, so you really have to just bear in mind where you are. You could of course make simple things, but you can also make just absolute monstrosities like whatever I'm doing here, which is, you know, pretty tasty. Again, the same rules apply with the width, the colour and the opacity, and with the brushes too, I think. There are some other tools here which are line tools, but I'll be covering those the next time I do a Medibang video. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this cluster of awful shapes being created. I hope you have a nice day and I'll see you all soon. Bye!